Hey there folks, the Scottsdale Travel Chick here and we are on the beautiful island of Oahu. In this video, I'm going to give you a detailed review of the Holiday Inn Express in Waikiki Beach, Oahu. In this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the hotel and how to get the most out of your stay. Okay, let's start with the hotel's location, how to get there, and what's nearby. The Holiday Inn Express is in a good location. It's on the east side of Waikiki Beach and about two blocks or a five minute walk from the beach. There are many restaurants and nightlife options all within a 10 minute walk. And the hotel is on the bus route from the airport and it will drop you off right in front of the hotel. Speaking of the airport, the Honolulu Airport is about nine miles northwest of the hotel. Taxis, Uber, shuttle vans, and those buses can get you there anywhere from 25 to 45 minutes, depending of course on the traffic. Renting a car can become pretty expensive in Honolulu. And then parking is expensive on top of that. The hotel has a small garage on site, which costs $45 per day, but it's often full. So you end up parking somewhere nearby, which is even more expensive. Our strong recommendation is to just take Uber and use the various local transportation options to get around and then take some of those tours. You can check out our top rated visitor guide for Oahu and Waikiki if you'd like to learn more. Okay, let's talk more about the hotel. The Holiday Inn Express is an IHG brand and it definitely caters to more families. The hotel has a total of 599 rooms. They have four elevators servicing all of the floors and rooms. So things always tend to be a little slower during rush hour times. The hotel has a small circular entry and check-in time is at 3 p.m. and check-out time is at noon. The feel of the hotel is definitely holiday in level, so don't get the idea this place is any type of resort. But the staff do try hard to take care of things. Having said that, this place is not even close to a resort. They do charge you a $30 resort fee per night. The nerve. Unfortunately, resort fees are quite common at all hotels in Waikiki. They have a concierge desk in the main lobby area. They can book activities and tours for you for all over Oahu. They also have a couple of computers and a printer just off the lobby area. Okay, let's move on to the rooms. All of the rooms are quite small and there's a little option for room upgrades across the 599 rooms. Just the higher floors have better views. If you force me, I'd say corner rooms are slightly better because it has that extra window. Here is a walkthrough of our room. It was located on the 32nd floor. As you walk into the room, you have an immediate view of the closet. 
a few storage shelves, but just not enough space. The room had two queen size beds. With two queen beds in this room, there just wasn't a lot of room to move around or any space to store anything. We had views over the parking lot and then out towards the ocean, but really nothing spectacular to write home about. We did find the beds to be comfortable, so that was a plus. The bathroom was very small, with not much room to store your stuff on the counter. But hey, you're in Waikiki, and you shouldn't be spending too much time in your room anyway. In terms of connectivity and Wi-Fi speed, we found the Wi-Fi to be on the weak side, most everywhere we tested it. Here's a screenshot of the speed test I did. Just a quick break to say, if you're enjoying this video, please consider giving us a thumbs up an encouraging comment, following our channel, and maybe even consider forwarding it to some of your friends. Any of those would really help. Okay, let's get back to the hotel. This is a Holiday Inn Express, which means you get free breakfast. Have to say it was decent, but also super crowded. Here are a few photos of the breakfast buffet. It has a typical Holiday Inn Express food like sausage, biscuits and gravy, bacon, cereal, muffins, juice, etc. They give you daily tickets for breakfast upon checking in and you'll have to bring them with you each morning to enter the dining area. The bonus here is that it does have an outside patio area too. I did want to mention just off the lobby area, there's a little section called the market. They have just grab and go type things. So if you're looking for a candy bar or a quick snack, just head here. In terms of amenities, there's not much. Again, it's typical Holiday Inn Express. On the fifth floor, you'll find the gym and the pool area, and something called Sky Deck. I'll talk about that next. The gym is decent sized. They have these large windows that let in all this natural light. Okay, let's take you to the pool area next. They have a very small outdoor pool. Bonus though is they also have some other stuff on the outside floor, like a nine hole putting green and outdoor picnic areas. They call this area the sky deck. It's kind of unique and a good escape from the room. They have a shuffleboard area on this side, plus a mini nine hole golf course and it's great for kids. They have a huge chessboard area as well. On the other side of the sky deck, they offer foosball table, ping pong, and cornhole. Lots of space for families and children to play. If you decide to take the family to see some history of Honolulu, and want to head to Pearl Harbor, be sure to check out our top rated video. Okay, now it's time for my Scottsdale Travel Chick score. The hotel is in a good location. Easy to walk to the beach and into downtown Honolulu. There are a ton of rooms here but just felt like you were packed in like sardines, and especially a breakfast. With all that being said, I give the Holiday Inn Express a six out of 10. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. 
Until next time.